everybody, it's DJ B, and we are counting down the days until Briarfest. I'm attending Briarfest this year for the first time, so I'm not exactly sure what to expect. I will be wandering around the park for the full three days of the event. I will show you what I'm wearing, so if you see me wandering around, you can say hi. I have four shirts for the four days. I'm not exactly sure what order I'm going to be wearing these in, but I just wanted to show them off so that you can see. Green, white, and I also have this one. My mom will also be with me, so she'll be wearing the same branded shirts, so you can also say hi to her. I'm hosting my very first in-person workshop. It's already sold out. You can't get more tickets to get into that workshop, unfortunately. However, I have created the exact same workshop in digital format for the online version of Briarfest, so you can watch that tutorial, learn how to paint Appaloosas from the comfort of your own home or after the Briarfest festivities. On Saturday, July 13th, I have two locations that you can come and find me at. Briar has graciously offered to give me an autograph tent, so 3 p.m. I will be at the autograph tent with Infinity Briars or Trinity as you know her. She is also a YouTuber and together we are going to be hanging out, giving out signatures, taking pictures, and I have lots of free giveaway stickers. I will also be attending the social media meetup at 8 p.m. at the Clarion Hotel. I'm doing that with Da Vinci Creations, Briar Photo, and Fox Glory 123. Uh, so those are my two times for you guys because I know I've gotten a lot of questions asking where I will be. I will also be probably bringing this to the social media meetup and this is my signature horse. I would like everyone to sign this model so that's going to be like my souvenir from the trip. I am not bringing anything to actual Briarfest to sell. I'm going to Briarfest to experience Briarfest. Everything is happening sale-wise ahead of Briarfest and after Briarfest. However, I am bringing two custom pieces with me. So part of my workshop, I am bringing this lovely Duke. He is available for auction up until Saturday of this week, so that's July 6th. Now this is my kind of only Briarfest exclusive sale, so you have to actually attend Briarfest to purchase this guy. I'm bringing him with me, and I want him to be picked up at the park because he's already coming. I don't want to have to ship him. I'm unable to enter the Briarfest Best Customs Contest because I live in Canada. So that's the whole thing. You can check out the video on Judas. Judas is not coming with me, but this is Mabel. And Mabel is the Peter Stone Equilocity Customs Contest entry. She will be coming with me and she will be available for viewing at the Griffin Gate Hotel. So I will be dropping her off on the Thursday and she'll be there until Sunday. She's not for sale. Unless I receive an offer, I can't refuse. So I have a couple of leftovers from last year's sale. Painted Wildy Medallion by Raven Maddock. I also have this Artemis Resin by Raven Maddock. And I have a collection of Crow Medallions. So this is my sculptural medallion from last year. But these are artist proof editions, so they have been painted by me. I have a chestnut and a palomino, as well as a dark sooty buckskin and a bay. I'm also selling this little stable mate named Pumpkin Spice. I also have one of my Frit resins, and this is the very last blank copy from the edition, and he's available at auction on Model Horse Place until the end of the month. And I also have a small amount left of the Sonder resin, so you can still get her in the traditional scale. I do also have her venti sized. The Sondet venti version is currently in production with Jolt Studios in the US. All of the traditional Saunders have been cast. They're literally sitting there waiting to be shipped. So when you order your Saunders, she ships right away. That being said, Jolt Studios is run by Jen and Tom Olp and they were supposed to be coming to Briarfest with me. They've been a super imperative part of the hobby for many many years and they've done a lot of casting for so many of us artists. They're incredible people to work with. They do superb work. Unfortunately one of their beloved horses has colic recently so they're going through all of the colic surgery. They're having to cancel their trip to Briarfest so there may be a slight delay in production of everything just on those circumstances. But if you would like to help out in that situation, there is a GoFundMe. I will link that GoFundMe down below. These models are in production, so you can get your own copies. So this is the Saunders Surprise. This is a collection of stickers, and these are gambler stickers. So when you purchase one, you don't actually know which one you're going to get. They're shipped randomly, and each purchase of the sticker enters you into a raffle to win a traditional Saunders. 
I also have an exclusive Briarfest design, and these are my two original characters, Sham and Amira. And then if you would like any of my customs from this year, you can get little stickers of them as well. So I have a Mabel sticker, I have a Judas sticker, and a Judas art sticker. And the last thing that is the most exciting thing in my opinion, I have three brand new medallion sculptures available for you. So this is Clara. So she's a very pretty little elegant mare. Kind of has an Araby type to her. Just a very pretty, pretty face. And then I have Ezra, a Iberian type stallion. And then this third one is not one, but two horses in the same medallion. And this is called Hope and Faith. And this is a very, very special medallion. This is my benefit medallion for Briarfest this year. Behind the scenes of DJB Studios, uh, I have a family and uh, my family grew two years ago when I got married. My sister-in-law was unfortunately recently diagnosed with stage four colorectal cancer. And that's been a struggle for all of us. She has three young kids. Unfortunately, it's already metastasized to her liver and it did spread to one of her ovaries as well. So she's had emergency surgery already to move a very large mass. But she's currently on chemotherapy and we're waiting for everything to shrink down so she can go in for a second surgery to remove the, more of the tumors. Uh, so it's been quite a journey on all of us, uh, but she is a a bright light, a great spirit, and I created this medallion and have decided that I want to donate $10 of every purchase to the Canadian Cancer Society to further research in colorectal cancer. I also always have all of my coloring books, which you have seen from previous year's Briarfests. So we still have the horse coloring book, which is just a plethora of blank horses, farm friends, which is a bunch of farm animals, patterns, which is a bunch of horses, but they have guidelines on them for you to follow the different markings, and I actually explain all of the different patterning and markings as well. If you're interested in learning more about horse color, horse genetics, and all of that, this book kind of explains it for you and can help you practice your coat colors. I also have a collection of Briar models from my collection are actually available for sale, and there's a couple other like little goody things available on there. I of course have all of my workshop courses as well as my Patreon and my monthly sticker club. You can access into all of those and check out more information. So everything is available on my website www.djb.com slash Briarfest and the sale is running until the end of the month which is July 27th. So I am headed off to Briarfest in a few short days so I'm very very excited. I look so forward to this trip. I've waited my whole life for this and I cannot wait to meet all of you and have a great time celebrating the love of the horse in a beautiful, beautiful place with so many like-minded people. And I hope all of you have a wonderful Briarfest experience, whether it's in person or online. Come join the fun. I highly recommend you do the online experience, even if you can't attend to the in-person festival. It feels just as cool. It's just as fun and exciting. I love listening to it every year. Thank you so much to Briar for all of the opportunities that they've given me this year to be, participate as a part of the festival. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. See you all in the next one.